Wow, what an ugly day in the market today. I'm surprised that Alibaba is that down more. It was. It went to a low of 75.76. And I just want to point this out because Monday we had this gap up from 76 all the way to a high of 79. And I said it's going to get filled because every single gap up, the gaps get filled. I didn't know when, but it actually happened today. Not even a week it happened five days because you can see it gapped up on 729 which was monday just monday crazy this is why i don't like when alibaba gaps up look at this crazy you had baba selling off we had baidu selling off and i don't know what the heck is going on with baidu look at this went to a new low of 82.91 and i don't know what this pump was about went to a high of 96 and then a few days later went to 105 just for it to fall right back down and sell off even more after that unbelievable with these chinese stocks like i said when the market pulls back it's going to drag these chinese stocks and here we are the time is now i knew it's going to happen how in the world are these chinese stocks going to go up if the market pulls back and the chinese stocks they don't follow the market when it rallies it only follows it when it sells off so we have earnings reports on august 15th instead of august 8th so two weeks from now they're going to report and what i said in the past remember in the past what tends to happen is they will gap up the day before earnings and then sell off the day of earnings happens every single time for the last for earnings reports so again it doesn't matter if the earnings are good because if they are good it's going to rally maybe for a day or two before it sells off and if it's really bad or if it's just bad it's going to sell off so again there's no win with alibaba and it's trading at 77 dollars for a reason no matter how many people will say it's undervalued yes it might be undervalued yes they're doing share buybacks but it's not based on fundamentals it's not even based on technicals it's all about political risk too much risk with these chinese stocks and that was my mistake i made a huge mistake getting into these chinese stocks i lost so much money that i will never make the money back Alibaba is my second biggest loser since I got into the stock market. Wow, the market sold off like crazy this week, which was bound to happen because it just kept going up and up and up. And I knew that once it pulls back, it's going to drag these Chinese stocks. We didn't even get a chance to make 52 weeks highs or all-time highs it's just been stuck here all it's gonna do is be in this range or sell off just like baidu just like neo remember neo wow went to a low of 3.95 today no one has made money on neo no one has made money on alibaba unless you bought puts unless you did spreads or unless you bought under 70 and remember how i said the calls were going to expire worthless guess what they did all those 80 strike calls we had 10,000 open interest wow Trust me, this is how I lost money. Even though Alibaba is slightly red year to date, I've lost so much money this year because I bought calls every single week during 
this year, right in the beginning of the year, and all I did was trade in this range until here, and I didn't buy a single call option during that time because I had no more money. I can't even take out any more loans, which is a good thing now. And again, next week, people are buying calls. The 80 strike calls, 4,000 volume traded. And then the 16th, August 16th, same thing. We have 18,000 open interest. Do you think they're going to pay that out? Yeah, I don't think so. It's going to be another worthless week for these call option buyers. I know because I've lost so much money with Alibaba. Alibaba either stays flat or it sells off. And remember, it's going to rally. It's going to gap up right before earnings and it's going to sell off. <laughs> it happens every single time. Look at PayPal. PayPal had great earnings and it rallied all the way to a high of $67 and it sold off with the market. It's probably going to fill this gap here. PayPal, Alibaba, supposedly they're value stocks. It's a trap, value trap, guys. Let me know. How did you do this week? 